to present on the topic internships are investment in your future so let's uh, see what is the table of contents first is the introduction then we'll we are going to discuss about the types of internships its importance benefits and how are you going to find an internship so let's start with introduction what is internship basically an internship is a period of work experience offered by an organization for a limited period of time typically it is undertaken by students and graduates looking to gain relevant skills and experiences in a particular field so uh, college plays a important role in teaching students about the theories and the concepts but students should know how to implement them in real working life so internships provide them a base where they can uh, actually put on the theories and framework that they have learned in their classrooms internships and apprenticeships offer a look into a career field that most classes don't they require students to get out of the class and put everything that they have learned while using uh while learning the new skills and the in ins and outs of a job so college is really a time to invest in your future and it goes quicker than you think so don't put uh, off internships until the last minute so now we'll talk about the types of internships so there are four types of internships which is paid work research virtual research uh, virtual research or or desertion unpaid internships and partially paid internships paid internships are those in which you get paid for the work that you have done for the company work research internships are those type of internship in which you undergo a research for the company and you choose the, uh, and the company tells you the topic and you have to do the research about the company unpaid uh, unpaid internships are the internships in which you are not paid for the work you are you have done for the company and partially paid internships are the internships in which you are uh, uh, not paid up to the mark uh, of the work that you have done for the company so now we are going to talk about the importance of internships so first importance of internship is a real life application uh, as i told earlier that uh, classes uh, and professors tell us about the theories and the concepts but uh, how to implement them in real life uh, you can learn on uh, by doing an internship a door to opportunity uh, internships offer uh, op uh, act as uh, often act as a door to opportunity they uh, give you opportunity of uh, uh, of uh, uh, giving you real life experiences Uh, character growth when you are into an internship uh, you tend uh, you become more motivated and uh, confident about what you are doing and about the work and the quality of the work you are doing uh, career development definitely internships provide a uh, strong base for your career development you can know uh, if your interest is in a particular sector or not whether you want to switch from one sector to another or not Next, next is networking. While working in an internship, uh, we um, yeah, students uh, get to know about the managers and the peer group that they are working with. So they try to uh, they network with different people, which is uh, uh, important uh, for uh, working in corporate world. Build your resume. So internships. Uh, when we do an internship, uh, so it is uh, added to our resume, and it uh, actually gives weight to the resume when uh, uh, so someone is applying for a job, a job interview, or some other thing. Learn from others while uh, working uh, uh, for a company. Uh, people tend to learn from uh, not only from the managers but also from the co colleagues that they are working with. Uh, figure out what you like and what you don't as i mentioned earlier uh, internships uh, uh, offer you uh, uh, experience that uh, you know and through that experience you know where you want to go whether you want to pursue the same line or not next we are going to talk about the benefits so the benefits that we are going to talk about are career exploration leadership and skill development networking and establishing mentors and references resume enhancements low uh, land on full time position gain confidence get to know yourself and multitasking 
So starting with career exploration. So you can learn about the career field from inside and decide if it is the right career field for you. Observe the workplace and see if it matches your expectations. You can gain knowledge of, about a specific industry and you can work alongside a professional in your chosen career area. Next is leadership and skill development. Learn new skills and add to your knowledge base while gaining confidence in your abilities. Opportunity to practice communication and team work skills. Provide evidence that you have initiative and uh, reliable and have sense of responsibility. Achieve a sense of accomplishment by contributing to an organization. Next is networking and establishing mentors and references. Uh, while working, you get tend to meet new people and practice networking skills while establishing a network of professional contacts, mentors, and references. Or you open a door to a uh, door to advise, and you can uh, actually uh, consult them about uh, what you want to do, uh, and they can actually advise you on certain things. Next is resume enhancements. As I told earlier. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, so resume enhancements gain valuable experience and accomplishments to add to your resume and or enhance your application to graduate school, create an advantage over the other job or graduate school applicants potential for a full time job offer at the end of the internship based on your performance. Next is land on a full-time job position. If someone is really committed to uh, producing a quality of work, then the employer is most likely to offer a job. Getting a pre-placement offer makes a lot of things easier as in this competitive world, finding a job is very difficult and especially in the, in the time of pandemic. Uh, gain confidence. During an internship, students will be exposed to a number of challenges that make them explore their greatest attitudes and become more confident. For instance, students might be asked to pitch the ideas, suggest solutions or write reports. So th that uh, confidence is reflected in the type of the work that is done by them. Next is get to know yourself. Students who go for internship develop strong interpersonal and intrapersonal skills better than those who don't. So the role of internship is to help to someone to identify their work preferences, encourage their personal growth by putting them into real life situations and trigger their exploration. Multitasking. It is important to prioritize the most of the tasks. However, interns uh, probably will be asked to assign more than one task and they have to uh, put them on the same level of priority. Uh, it is important to multitask because uh, and uh, because it is uh, one important uh, characteristic that uh, a person has to uh, do uh, in long run while working in a corporate world. So now is the one most important question that uh, most of the students have in their mind. Uh, do internships lead to jobs? So here we have a statistical data that uh, tells us about the percentage of the job offers uh, that people have got when they did the internships. So uh, in the blue, we can see that it is a paid internship. And we can see that 63.1% uh, of, uh, of the people uh, got uh, jobs while uh, when they did a paid internship. 37% of, uh, of the people got internship when they uh, did an unpaid internship. And only 35.2% people got a job offer uh, when they did no internship. So clearly with this data, we can see that uh, uh, there are most uh, uh, more chances of uh, getting a job uh, when you do an internship uh, as compared to when you don't do an internship. So uh, how to find an internship? Uh, so there are various uh, sites, websites where you can find internships. So I've listed four of them, which is uh, LinkedIn, it is the most uh, frequently used uh, platform for finding internships and job roles. Uh, so, and also you can use Google, Glassdoor, Intern, Chala, Let's Intern. There are various platforms other than these also. So uh, next question is, are uh, these internships overrated? Are these internships overrated? 
so here on the left we have a transition period from college to career so uh, if we see the blue stack uh, which is there it shows the number of months a uh, non intern takes to convert uh, uh, his college into a career so uh, it uh, it shows that 6.3 uh, 6.3 months have been taken by a non intern to actually enter a job and whereas on the other hand uh, we can see uh, that only 2.5 months uh, uh, only 2.5 months have been taken by an intern to actually land to a job and on the right hand side uh, we can see the job offers so it shows that 58% of the interns had uh, uh, got uh, the job offers uh, and as compared to the non interns which is only 30% So here is a career timeline which shows how internships can help in uh, reaching to your goals. So uh, we can uh, uh, see that where do we start? So it's a career events, network, and internships. The career center offers workshops, networking, internship opportunities, and much more. And internships definitely, uh, when we do an internship, we get also get a letter of recommendation. If you know, someone wants to pursue his education further, then uh, the letter of recommendation is important. Also, um, it, uh, internships will uh, give you uh, real life experiences, as I told before. so uh, an internship is not only an investment in your future career but also an opportunity for students to explore alternative career options and to know whether you are into this industry of or or not an internship will help to test drive the career before getting stuck into a full time job that is unlikely thank you